Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I've got some exciting news. RetroPie has finally been officially released for the Raspberry Pi 4 after nearly 8 months of waiting. And today I'm going to show you how to install and set up RetroPie 4.6 on your Raspberry Pi 4. Towards the end I'm even going to show you how to transfer your games to your Pi. Just keep in mind that this is still a beta version. But before you get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now, let's get started. First of all, you'll have to download the ISO file containing the OS by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to the RetroPie website. Simply go ahead and click on Downloads, and as you can see, there's finally an option to download RetroPie for the Pi 4. So click Download. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher, by clicking on the second link in the description below, or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, you'll have to extract the image. You can either use WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this. Now that you've done that, just open up the flash and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that you'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 32GB one. And click flash. This shouldn't take too long since it's only a 2.7GB file. I would highly recommend you use some sort of active cooling, or at least a FLIR case, that acts as a huge heatsink for the Pi, to prevent it from overheating. If you're looking for a great case, just check out my previous video. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to expand and boot. After it's done booting for the first time, it will greet you with a start screen. I have an Xbox One controller plugged in via USB cable, so that's one gamepad detected. Now hold the A button on your controller to start configuring it. Now you'll simply have to press the corresponding button on your controller. So up, down, left, right, start button, select, A, B, X, Y and so on. If you missed one, just scroll back up to it using your D-pad. Press A and then the button or trigger you want to configure it to. Then scroll back down and press OK using the A button on your controller. As you can see, we're now successfully running RetroPie 4.6 on a Raspberry Pi 4. However, you might have noticed that there are no games pre-installed, so I'm quickly going to show you how to do that. In order to transfer your games to your RetroPie, your Raspberry Pi needs to be connected to the same network as your PC that you'll be transferring your games from. I'm using Ethernet to do this, but if you want to do it over Wi-Fi, just go to the RetroPie menu, press A, and scroll down to Wi-Fi. For typing in your Wi-Fi password, you'll need a keyboard, so go ahead and plug one into your Pi. Once you've done that, you'll need to switch back to your PC. Ok, now that I've switched back to my PC, I'm going to open up a folder where I store some of my games that I'll be transferring to my RetroPie. I'm only going to transfer a few Mega Drive games. First of all, open up a second file explorer, and in the quick access bar up here, type backslash backslash RetroPie all capital and hit enter. Now we're connected to our RetroPie over network. And now go ahead and open up the ROMs folder. Inside of here we have folders for all of the different game types that are supported by RetroPie 4.6. I'm now going to transfer my Mega Drive games to my RetroPie by dragging all of my games into the folder labeled Mega Drive. You can do the same by dragging your games into the corresponding folder. Once you've done that, you'll need to restart your RetroPie for the games to be detected. As you can see, the games have now been successfully transferred to my RetroPie and are now ready to be played. But apart from that, that would be it for today. I hope I helped you out and you enjoyed the video. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.